Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, this is Shock, and it's a beautiful day in California, as you can see. Let me show you the clouds and the sun in the sky. And it just finished raining yesterday. <laughs> Must be global warming. Very cold though in California uh, compared to how it usually is. Okay, on this video, we're going to cover a lot of things. First of all, I'm going to talk to you about some free goodies you can get. And uh, if you want to get the free goodies, I'm going to tell you about the free programs, free games. Uh, not stupid programs and stupid games, but really good quality ones. Uh, good games and good software programs, etc. And if you want to get that, click more info below this video when you're done watching this video because I have a lot of good things to talk about on this video and go to this website or you might see the annotation if you have annotations on on your bit on the screen www.shockanow.net and that's spelled www.shockanow.net shockanow.net and you can get tons of free things there now when you go there at the top of the page it'll say free stuff and then when you click free stuff what i'm doing is a lot of us uh, are meeting in the conference room. And I'll talk to you about that. I have a debate today with an atheist where he's going to, <laughs> he said he's going to be giving good arguments why atheism is true. So you got to go there also to the conference room where it says enter a chat room below and you can, you can listen to him fail. But uh, let's talk about the free stuff first and then I'm going to talk to you about how the number one atheist on YouTube the number one most subscribed to atheists on YouTube is afraid to debate me uh, because I'm going to video record it and record it and then upload it on YouTube and he's going to fail at the top of his voice. The amazing atheist, I, I don't think there's anything amazing about someone that would choose hell, so I call him the amazingly hellbound atheist. He's afraid to debate me. Now, um, I've given him three weeks. I put the challenge out there to, to debate me. I've given him three weeks and he's not getting back with me. It's been over a week. So we'll see at the end of the three weeks if he gets up enough courage um, or if he's too busy making out with fake Sagan. <clears throat> um, he has done that before. Maybe he's busy doing that. Maybe uh, the amazing atheist is busy with his boo. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, so when you go below here and you click out, click shotgunnow.net, listen to some of these awesome free programs, and they're all free. They're not like trial programs. First of all, for the gamers out there, I'm going to put some free games there. I have some there already, and uh, very good quality games. Some of these games are free, and um, well, all of them are free. But some of these games you've seen at the store, like America's Army, which you actually usually have to pay for, but if you go to americasarmy.com or go to the website right below that I'm telling you, you'll see free commercial quality games that you could download. Now, another thing that uh, I have there, which is really good, which is free, is it's a software program that backs up your entire YouTube channel. So if your channel's constantly getting attacked, like, you know, I've had the uh, anti-Christians attack my channel down seven times, but never fear, I have my whole collection of videos backed up. And what the software program does is that you put the your channel name in the software program and it just downloads all your videos for you for free. And um, that's right there when you go to shotgunnow.net below this website. See where it says more info right there? Go ahead and click more info and you'll see the link and then click free stuff so it'll back up all your YouTube videos and it's good to do that once a month uh, make sure you have all your videos backed up I have some free antivirus programs there and anti spyware program and sometimes if your computer starts getting really really slow and if you've never run an anti spyware or ad anti adware program on your computer you really should do it it, it'll find so much stuff on your computer and it, and it will speed up your computer. Um, so it'll remove those things for free. I have um, disk defragmenters. As you know, it's good to defrag your disk 
on your hard drive it keeps it running in tip-top shape and um, it speeds up your computer that it speeds up how fast it writes the information and I don't really like the disk defragmenter that comes with Windows and um, there are so much there's so many more better ones out there that uh, are faster they don't take a gazillion years to run um, I put a couple of those disk defragmenters there and um, it doesn't remove your disk defragmenter you have now it's just an extra one I think a better one and um, you can use that let's see what other uh, programs I have there hold on I got to get over oh um, one of the things that that I have a matter of fact today if you go there um, right now and and later today I'll be debating atheist now the number one most subscribed to atheist on YouTube is afraid to debate me the amazing atheist but um, there's other atheists that I've actually become friends with and stuff and they're like well I'll, I'll do it shock you know I'll go in there and do it um, if the amazing atheist is afraid to debate you I'm not I'll go in there and, and you've always been nice to me and I'll debate you <laughs> and um and then the, the, even the atheists are like they're saying about the amazing atheist they're like well he's just more like a clown he's not like an intellectual where he can debate he's just more like um, an entertainer and, and I would say that's true um, he's not where he has any good arguments for atheism but check this out I, um, I gotta tell you that you could also get your own debate room your own free video conference audio room like I have and it is awesome now if you're a business person a businesswoman or a businessman this is a great program that you can use for business and what I like about it is you don't have to install anything on your computer but let's say you want to meet with a bunch of people and you want to collaborate on projects or business projects or if you're a gamer and you want to meet with other gamers and make it like a gaming chat room um, or if you are a Christian and you want to use it for a weekly Bible study it is excellent and I use it for all those things and, and the way you get that is the same way I'm telling you it's free and this is in my opinion the best program there is you click below where it says shockanow.net and click free stuff and it's it, you'll see it on the page it'll say your free conference room video room now it also has file share where you can share files with each other it has a whiteboard where you can draw diagrams and graphs and stuff so a uh, very nice Harley I think that is now, um, I got a couple of minutes more, so I've got to tell you a funny, some funny stories. <laughs> what I've been doing is um, I've been inviting atheists to come in to the conference room. I'm going to get over here. And I'm challenging them to give me good arguments why we should believe atheism is true. This is the topic of today's debate. And I debate there practically every day right here below, shockandl.net, when you click enter chat okay or click free stuff you'll see it there and um, I'm debating an atheist today and he says okay I know the amazing atheist is afraid to debate you but but I'll go in there and I'll try it so he's gonna come in this other atheist and he's also on YouTube and he is going to try to give arguments why we should believe that atheism is even true now here's what's really funny uh, as you know, um, I've been asking atheists to provide any type of proof and evidence or any argument at all that would have us believe that atheism is even true. And here's a list of people that have failed to do it. Now, the amazingly hellbound atheist, the amazing atheist, I call him the amazingly hellbound atheist. I'm not happy about that. I hope he wises up and uh, realizes that atheism is a bunch of crap. But the amazingly hellbound atheist has admitted on video because I've challenged him like five times and finally you know he's he knew like okay I, I gotta give him an answer I can't keep evading so he admitted and I'm quoting him he said and, and by the way when you click below this video you'll see him say that he says this he says quote I cannot prove that atheism is true or accurate he can't prove it and no atheist can atheists have been trying for centuries what's this in the road gee uh, atheists have been trying for centuries to prove atheism is true and they can't you know 
um, that only 2.3% of the world population is atheist, and even about half of those people believe that, yes, it's possible God can exist. So there's really no good arguments. It's the easiest worldview to debate. It's so easy. But um, I want to give you guys a tip before I uh, go off the video here. When you're talking to an atheist, you got to realize they're going to try to avoid debating you. They're, they're afraid because they cannot provide any arguments for why atheism is true. So what you do is you really ask them, you go, come on, you really believe atheism is true? I can't believe that. And they'll say, yes, I do. Once they say atheism is true and they say, yes, they do, they then have to, they have a burden of proof where they have to provide arguments of why they believe it's true. What has brought them to that place? Because see, I was an atheist, as you guys know, and I left atheism because the lack of any good arguments that it was even true, any proof, evidence, anything. There are tons of proofs and evidences and good arguments for the existence of God, which I will be talking about today right here below at shockandowl.net in the chat room, in our debate room. And you will see that the arguments that I give totally pound into smithereens the arguments that uh, my atheist friends that come into debate me give. The atheist are always going to bring up three things. Spaghetti monsters, Santa Claus, unicorns. That's all they got. <laughs> That's all it is. So uh, what's really funny now is now they know that I'm going to ask them to give good arguments why atheism is true. So now what they do, because they're so scared to give any good arguments, I'm not making this up. You witnessed this a couple of nights ago in the debate room. I had an atheist come in, and out of respect to him, I'm not going to say his name because he's a really nice guy and stuff, and um, I could tell he was kind of embarrassed. But he's from the UK, and he said, atheism is not true. It's not true. He basically admitted it. Look at this nice motorcycle. He actually said, atheism's not true in the conference room. Everyone heard him. And um, so, you know, once you're, you're willing to be in a worldview that even you admit is not true, it's pretty much just living in a fairy tale world. I believe in these certain facts of atheism. I believe it's a fact that the atheist cannot find God for the same reason a thief cannot find a policeman. I believe it's a fact that atheism is a crutch for those that cannot bear the reality of God. I believe it's a fact that the atheists risk everything for the fairy tale that the universe just happened to happen for no reason and that when we're dead, we're dead. That someone would live in such a fairy tale lifestyle is beyond me. That someone would be willing to live and die with that mindset is an awful high price to pay for conjecture. But I believe it's a fact that Jesus said, verily, verily, I say to you, I go to prepare a place for you. So that where I may go, you may go also. Jesus, you know Jesus talked about hell more than any other person in the Bible? Do you know that? Because he loves us so much he doesn't want us to go to hell. And I love the atheists, pagans, Wiccans, uh, vegetarians, conservatives, liberals. I love them. And um, just recently we had four more people become Christians. They left atheism. Um, another thing too, I got to tell you guys, when you click below here, You've got to see the video where the Atheist Experience Show was asked to provide good arguments that atheism is true, and they brought up a unicorn in a box saying that that proves atheism is true. How does a unicorn in a box <laughs> proves atheism is true? All that does is prove that atheism is madness. So if you want to see the number one most subscribed to atheists on YouTube, the one that cowered from me and he doesn't want to debate because he knows that atheism is a bunch of crap. Click below this video and you'll see it. If you want to see the Atheist Experience show cowering on live TV, uh, avoiding the question and rather than giving good arguments why atheism is true, they have to bring up uh, a unicorn in a cardboard box. Click here below and watch me debate the atheist today and utterly destroy his arguments. I will do it with love. 
but I'll see you there, shotgunnow.net. Have a great week.